Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be analyzing a game and both players are probably rated below 1000. So let's get started. The first move was E4. Again, this is a good move because it gets the pawn in the center and it opens up lines for the bishop and the queen. And then D5 and then pawn goes up by the way this opening is called the scandinavian defense and most of the time um the pawn will capture the pawn on d5 but um moving the pawn to e5 it's less common but it's still um a good move knight to c6 this is fine um another move that um that i can do is to move the pawn up to c5 um so this pawn um can gain um more space but knight to c6 um pawn to d4 this is good this pawn is in the center and it's controlling um it's, it's protecting this pawn on e5 knight to c4 um this is not a good move when you're um starting out in chess you need to remember this one rule is you only move the knight or the bishop out only one time in the opening notice this is the second time um this knight has been moved so i do not like this move at all i think um in this position maybe um black should maybe um move the bishop to f5 to get this bishop out okay um also if you want me to analyze your chess game for free for my youtube channel please let me know um i'd be happy to analyze it and if you have not subscribed to my channel i do encourage you to subscribe to my channel okay let's go back to the game so it was d4 and a knight to f um to b knight to b4 and then pawn to a3 this makes sense because um it is attacking the knight and then the knight goes back okay plague is wasting um some moves so that's interesting um bishop um goes to f4 i think this is okay um other moves that white can do is knight to f3 um i think that would be good or perhaps um, knight to um, c3. I do prefer knight to um, f f3. Moving on, so bishop to f4, um, um, pawn to f6. So I think um, black needs to be careful in this position because um, it opens up the um, king's diagonal. Um, so black needs to be very, very careful right now. In this position, I would still probably go bishop to f5. Okay. Um, pawn f6. Um, bishop goes here. Okay, that's interesting. Um, pawn takes. And then the bishop takes. Okay. Knight takes. Then pawn takes. Okay. And then the pawn... Um, goes to d4. So this is very interesting. Um, let's see what happens. Pawn goes to c3. In this position, um, what I would probably do is I would probably like maybe move the knight to f3. I also think that moving the queen um, to um h5 to check i also think that this would also um be good too because if pawn goes here then the bishop can take it and then if this pawn does take it then the queen can just capture the rook for free and then um that would be very very good but let's go back um to the actual game shall we so um the pawn goes to c3 okay that's interesting and then what happens now is the pawn takes the pawn and again when you're um, when you're playing chess you need to get all of the knights and the bishops out um so in this position i would have taken the pawn um with this knight on c3 so this knight can get out 
Um, but one thing I noticed again, as I told you before, this king's diagonal, it's open. So therefore, in this position, I would move my queen over to h5. And then I already told you um, what the line is, is if pawn goes here, the bishop can go here. And then if the pawn takes, then the queen um, can take the rook. So that's what I would do um, um, right now. But I think we still have to be careful. But um, I think to just keep things simple, let's take the pawn with the knight. That's what I would do. Okay. Um, but let's go back to what actually happened. Um, pawn goes to c5. And then um, the pawn goes to c4. That's interesting. In this position, I would, again, let's continue to... Um, develop up. I would probably still um get my knight out to f3, but okay, the pawn goes to um c4. Um, bishop um goes to e6, and then knight goes to f3. Okay, that's good. So that's good. Queen goes um to d7. Castle. Okay, so it seems like um knight's doing um an okay job. Okay, so black decides to castle, and then the knight goes to c3. This is actually a mistake, so you want to ask questions before each move, and one question you need to ask is, can my opponent safely capture any pieces? So in this position, if you notice, um, this queen um, is attacking this bishop, and notice that this rook is backing up the queen. So therefore, it's safe for this queen to take this bishop because um notice that white um only has one um defender which is the queen and black has two attackers so therefore we need to do something about this bishop moving the knight to c3 is simply um not very good so in this position what i would probably do is to go move this bishop to c2 because it saves this bishop and also notice this bishop is also protecting this queen this rook is also protecting the queen so therefore um, if the queen does take the queen, then the rook can take it back, and um, that would be a good move for white. Um, so moving the knight to c3, mistake, and the pawn goes to a6. Again, um, black made a mistake. This queen should have just taken the bishop. So black um, wins a bishop, right? Okay, pawn to a6, not very, very good. And then the queen goes to e2. Again, this is not very good. We need to save this bishop right now. So I would probably um, maybe move the bishop um, to e2. So it protects the queen, but this bishop is also protecting um, the pawn too. But moving forward, the queen goes there. Pawn um, goes um okay this black pawn goes to b5 let's see what white does white takes it and again this is a mistake we need to do something about this bishop black's queen is threatening to capture the bishop um because again black has two attackers and white only has one defender so we need to do something so in this position instead of taking the pawn I would probably move the rook over um, to um, this square. So the rook is protecting this bishop. Um, this would be very good um, for white. Um, but okay, pawn takes, pawn takes. Okay, what does white do? It takes the pawn. Um, good move. It's safe to take it because um, the queen is backing up the queen and black um, only has one defender. So this is a good move. It attacks the queen. Let's see um, what black does. Okay, black moves the queen to d3. And um, this is not um, very good. And let's see what white does. Yep, bishop takes the bish um, queen. When you're playing chess, you need to ask, if I move here, is it safe? Obviously, um, moving the queen to d3 is not safe because the queen is worth um, 9 points and the bishop is only worth 3 points. Um, this is this is something not a good trade for um, black right now. So in this position, what I would probably do is I would probably um, move the um, queen 
um, to um, maybe B, um, maybe C7. Um, so the queen is safe. So that's what I would probably do. Um, but when you're playing chess, if you keep on making um, silly mistakes, like moving the queen to an unsafe square, you're going to have a very hard time getting to the next level in chess. Okay. So bishop takes, and then pawn goes here. But of course, you need to ask, if I move here, is it safe? No, it's not safe to move the pawn to c4 because the bishop is attacking it. The queen is backing up the queen, and this bishop is the only piece that's protecting this pawn. So it's 2 vs1, not a good trade. So in this position, um, I would probably um, maybe move the king to... Um, Maybe maybe we can um maybe move the pawn to um g six, um black is in the um not in black is not in a good position right now. But okay, going on, we should have just taken this pawn. Ask the question: Can they safely take a piece? Let's take this pawn. But okay, um, um bishop goes here. The good thing about this move is now it's controlling the b seven square, um, and that's next to the king. Okay. Pawn goes to g5, knight takes, that's a good move. Let's see what happens. Bishop goes to h6, and then again, we want to ask, can they safely capture any pieces? In this um, position, um, what um, can can knight safely capture a piece? The knight can safely um, just take um, this bishop, right? So we should just take it for free, right? Um, but instead, the bit goes there. Okay. Um, okay, so Rick goes there. And then again, we still need to ask, can I safely capture a piece? The knight can just take this bishop. Let's just take it, right? So um, the bishop's worth three points. The knight is worth three points. So yeah, if you can take a, um, a, a piece, um, that would be good. Because if you capture, um, if you can safely just take a piece for free, then that means your opponent's army just got weaker. Okay. Um, pawn goes to f3. Okay. Bishop um, goes to d7. And then the knight does take the pawn. And it is safe to take it because this bishop, it is protecting the knight. But... Is there another move that a knight can do? And the answer is yes, this queen can safely take the pawn on c4. And if you notice, the queen is checking the king. So in this position, that's what I would do. I would have taken the pawn with the queen and checked the king. But taking the pawn with the knight, that's safe. Okay, what goes there? And then, um, okay, knight goes there again. Um... If I move here, is it safe? No, it's not safe because the pawn can just take it. You want to also consider all of the other captures you can make. Um, the best move right now is queen to c4 because it checks the king. And also notice that the queen is also attacking the rook too. This rook is not protected. So once this king gets out of check, then the queen can go here and um, take the rook for free. And then this would be very good for white, right? Um, so, moving on to what actually happened is knight goes to f6, um, knight takes, pawn takes, pawn takes, okay, and then finally white um, takes a pawn. So that's good. Um, it checks the king and it also attacks the rook at the same time. King goes there, rook goes there, good move. And then the rook um, goes um, to e8, and then the rook goes to b1. This is a mistake. Um, again, when you're playing chess, you need to ask, can they safely capture any pieces? And if we take a look right now, um, this queen is attacking this bishop. It's also attacking this pawn. And the queen can actually safely take this bishop. And this is actually checkmate um, thanks to this rug. So white really needs to um, spend more time um, figuring out what pieces he or she is attacking, right? Um, Got to consider all checks. This is actually checkmate. But white decides to go to b1. So white missed the checkmate in one. 
Um, bishop goes there. And then rook takes um, bishop. Okay. Um, good move. And let's see what happens. Rook goes there. It pin, um, is attacking the queen. Okay, that makes sense. Um, queen takes pawn. That's a good move. In this position, what I would do is this rook is not doing anything um, right now. So I would probably um, move the rook to d1. It checks the king. And once this king um, goes here, then we can simply just take um, the rook with the queen. So that's what I would do. And it should be checkmate very, very soon. Um, but, okay, so let's go back to the game. Um, okay, so the queen takes um, the pawn. Okay, it's safe. It's attacking the rook and the bishop at the same time. Bishop goes there. Okay, it's safe to do that. It's checking the king. King goes there. Okay. And then the um, the bishop um, goes to d2, it attacks the knight, that makes sense. And then the knight um, goes to d5. This is a good move. If you notice right now, this rook is pinned. And what does that mean? It means this rook cannot move. The queen is pinning the rook to the king. That's why this rook cannot move. If this rook moves, then the queen would be checking the king. So moving the knight here is good because White queen um can safely um take um the rug, um but let's go back to what actually happened. Bishop goes here and then um the knight takes. So um this is a good move, but it's not the best move. The best move is to take the rook with the queen. You guys have to remember the queen is the most powerful piece in chess, and um because of that, you want to try to get your queen as close as possible to your opponent's king, okay? Because if you do this, when if you if you take the rook with the queen, you move the queen um closer to the king. It's with check, and once this king moves, can we move this queen um closer to this king? Yes, we can actually move this queen here, and this is actually a checkmate. So that's very, very important. So let's go back to what actually happened. Yikes. Let's go back to um, the actual game. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, knight takes rook. King goes there. Um, queen goes there. Okay, that's interesting. Rook goes there. Uh, but again, if I move here, is it safe? No, it's not safe because it's bishop. So that's a mistake. So what I would probably do in this position is I would um, probably move my um, queen to e5 and check. And then um, if the queen, if the king, um, if the king goes there, then I would um, probably um, um, go here and check. If the um, king um, goes here, then I would probably um, go rook um, to d5, and then that's a checkmate. Um, but let's go back to what actually happened um, in the game. Rook goes here, not safe because the bishop just took it. Okay, rook goes here, okay. Queen goes there. Okay, so this is this is this is a very good um move. This is a skewer. Um the bishop and king they're on the same line. Um king goes there and then queen takes the bishop. So that's a good move. That was very, very good for white. Um king goes there. And then um pawn goes there. Okay, that's fine. And then what we want to do is um, let's move the queen as close as possible to the king. So in this position, I would have gone queen to g6, and then that's also a checkmate. You've got to consider all checks. Moving here, um, not good, because if you notice right now, this pawn is controlling this square. And when this pawn is moved, notice that now this pawn is not controlling the g4 square. And that's what exactly what happened. Okay. Let's see what happens. The pawn goes to f5. Okay, again, what you need to do is you got to move the queen as close as possible to the king. How do we do this? Because right now this queen, it's very far away. Let's move the queen 
um, over um, to um, g6. Now the queen is much closer to the king. Once this king goes here, can we move the queen closer to the king? Yes, we can go here and then that's a checkmate, okay? Um, but let's go back to what actually happened. Um, pawn goes there. So it seems like um, white wants to get another queen and okay, that's um, perfectly fine. Um, it's just gonna take um checkmate um it's gonna take um much longer. And let's see what happens. Okay, so white gets another queen, and then the king goes back to g4, and the queen goes to d8. Again, I don't like this move. You, when you have two queens, you need to move the queens much closer to the king. And when you move the queens closer to the king, it needs to be with check. When you move here, the queen um is farther away from the king and it's not with check. So what would I do in this position? Move the queen closer to the king. So I would um go here and then the king's only move is here. Can we move the queen um closer um to the king? Yes, there's many ways we can move here. And then this is actually a checkmate, right? So let's go back to what actually happened. Queen goes there, um, king goes there, queen goes there, and then this is stalemate. So that's why I'm telling you is you ha if you have more than um, um, two queens, you um, yeah, if, if you have more than two or more queens, you need to move the queens closer to your opponent's king, and it needs to be with check to avoid stalemate. Since the queen moved here, this king's not in check. It's not. It's not. Um, I mean, this is stalemate. If the queen um moved here, okay. Um, the queen's closer to the king. The black king's only move is to go here, and then we want to move the queen um closer to the king. Let's move it over here. It's safe because this queen's protecting it, and then this is um checkmate. So I hope you found value um, in this um, video. I hope you like watching my videos. If you would like to support my channel, all you need to do is to go click the support my channel button. On this page, then you can um, um, give a donation. Um, thanks in advance if you do that. If you like watching my videos, then I also invite you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.